going to digitize a 3D looking golf ball with some text. This is the diagram that I'm going to trace out using Logic Trace. First thing I'm going to do in Logic Trace, I'm going to define the four corners by selecting four points. Shown here, I'm touching the four corners of the diagram and that will display the size on the program. Next I'm going to select Curve Fit and that's how I'm going to draw that semicircle on the diagram. Then I'm going to select Curve Fit again to do the inside semicircle of the diagram. You'll notice on this diagram where I mark off my starting spot with a red pencil. That way I don't cause a cross vector by tracing over my starting spot. The more care you take on the tracing, it's a lot less work in the end. Now I'm going to trace out the word golf and I'm going to use the trace command and the curve fit around that G. By using any of these tracing methods, it really cuts down the time that you're tracing. Also, this is a good spot to save my work. I save my work frequently. A diagram of this size, 14 inches by 14 inches, it's pretty easy to trace out the different components because they're all quite large. Again, I'm using the curve fit command around that O. And again, I'm using the curve fit command on the inside of the O. It makes it quick. Instead of trying to find this font in the computer, it's easier with this type of font just to trace it out. I'm going to start tracing out the L and F. And because it's so irregular, I'm just going to stick to the trace command. Again, you'll notice here I saved my work. When you save your work, the program saves an extra copy. I call that the working copy. And the beauty of that copy is that if you want to take a break or continue tracing, say the next day, you'll load that work copy, it's asterisk period TLG, and just continue on with your tracing. It's great. So I'll be carrying on now and tracing out all those circles on the golf ball and for most of those circles I'll be able to use the curve fit command. Some of them when they look like they're slivers and they're very narrow I'll use the trace command. Quite amazing when you look at this diagram it looks like it's quite busy and there's a lot of work to tracing it but there isn't. Once you start tracing each one out and marking it off it goes by pretty quick. Find Logic Trace easy to use and it's fast and it has the ability to be saved in different formats like DXF, PolyDXF, SVG or PDF. One unique feature is the ability of the program to extend the control window. That's the left hand part of the program. You can extend that to a device like the iPad or say a phone, a cell phone. That way you can keep that device right close to you to make your button selection. Makes the tracing very quick. Also wanted to mention that there are options and setup buttons that you can configure this program to suit yourself. Like for instance, I've set up the program with a 0.5 trace line and black, thread black. You can see all those red pencil marks where I keep track of where I started. I'm getting close to the end here where I'm finished all the tracing, so I'll save that final TXF file. I'm going to load that file into Vectric Aspire 11.5, check the vector quality, make sure everything looks good. I also like to run the Aspire simulator just to see how the file is going to look. 
Now I'm going to load the file into the vinyl cutter. I'm running a Roland 8600 vinyl cutter and I've got it loaded with navy vinyl, 24 inches wide. Took a bit of a close up there so you could see the actual cut and you can, it's there. That small white square is a test cut. Shown here the vinyl is removed and I'm starting to do the weeding process. Weeding process is done, the pre-mask is now applied. Shown here I've mounted this image to a white substrate. It looks good, would make an excellent golf club sign. 